good morning dear students in the last class we have discussed about flame today we will be discussing about fuels and their types what are fuels fuels are the substances which are easily available and burns in air at a moderate rate producing large amount of heat energy at the same time they do not leave behind any undesirable residue okay so fuels are the substances which are easily available to us and they burn with a moderate rate and they produce a large amount of heat at the same time they do not leave behind any undesirable residue okay these fuels can be broadly classified into three groups depending upon their state that is solid fuels liquid fuels and gaseous fuels we all know the examples of these fuels like solid fuels means wood cow dung cakes or charcoal etc and if we talk about liquid fuels like petrol kerosene diesel they all come under liquid fuels and gaseous fuels means biogas or cng or lpg x methane gas etc are considered as gaseous fuels out of these few of them they are derived <clears throat> from the fossils so they are also called as fossil fuels these fuels when they burn they produce heat energy and that heat energy is used by us now how much heat energy is produced by each one of them that one should know how to know this so for that uh, we burn a fixed amount of <clears throat> this fuel and we measure the heat energy produced by it this is known as calorific value of a fuel calorific value of a fuel is the amount of heat energy produced on complete burning 1 kg of a fuel in pure oxygen okay it is the amount of heat energy produced on complete burning of 1 kg of a fuel in presence of pure oxygen why uh, we have mentioned here pure oxygen you all know that in presence of pure oxygen the combustion process will be complete so this is known as calorific value of a fuel and the unit of this calorific value of a fuel is kilojoules per kilogram it is measured in terms of kilojoules per kilogram based on the calorific value we can find out which fuel is having maximum calorific value and which one is having least calorific value just now we have discussed about the different types of fuels like solid fuels liquid fuels and gaseous fuels and their examples so we are comparing their calorific value and what we observe we observe that cow dung cakes has minimum or very less calorific value that is 6000 to 8000 kilojoules per kg whereas hydrogen gas is having highest calorific value that is 150000 kilojoules based on the calorific value and other properties of the fuel we come to know the general characteristics of fuel out of these general characteristics of fuel we can say that which the so and so fuel is the best fuel so what is the criteria for this or what are the characteristics we expect in best fuel in be best fuel we want it to be very easily supplied to the consumer second thing it should not leave behind any ash or solid residue on combustion and it should produce very less amount of harmful gases 
Another property which we want in best fuel is its ignition temperature should be low and its calorific value should be best or highest. So we have understood the different types of fuels and their characteristics and we have discussed also what are the characteristics uh, which we expect in the best fuel. Based on those characteristics, we select the fuel for our domestic life or for our two wheelers, etc. And day by day, the consumption of these fuels has increased. And we are using wide variety of fuels in our daily life. Now, as the consumption is increased or these fuels are burnt for different purposes, definitely they are causing problems to us and our nature. So what are those problems? First thing, if the combustion is complete, then it will produce heat energy and carbon dioxide gas. If the combustion is incomplete, then it will produce carbon monoxide gas. And combustion of fuels also produces sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, etc. So out of these gases, carbon dioxide gas has the ability to trap the heat. And it increases the temperature of the earth due to which the glaciers are melting and the sea level is increasing. This phenomena is known as global warming. And carbon monoxide, when it is inhaled, it gets mixed with the blood and it binds with the hemoglobin to produce carboxyhemoglobin which is harmful for us and it may cause suffocation and sometimes it leads to the death of the individual. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide when they are present in the atmosphere they react with the rainwater and they produce sulfurous acid and nitric acid. These acids, when they are mixed in water, such rain is known as acid rain. So acid rains are also harmful to mankind. They are damaging the monuments, they are damaging uh, the fertility of the soil and uh, they are uh, causing skin problems or they are causing harm to the plants also so that way this is the next harmful effect of combustion of fuel sometimes due to the incomplete combustion the carbon particles are released in the smoke so this smoke is also harmful and if we are using the solid fuels they are leaving the ash as a solid residue this ash is also harmful to us because it also reduces the fertility of soil. So this way we find that the problems uh, which we are facing in our day to day life are because of overconsumption of these fuels. So we, it's our responsibility to minimize the usage of these fuels and save our environment. I hope you have understood this and you will definitely take part in conservation of our environment. So here we have finished the chapter. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in our next class.